Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber, I'm the Audiologist here at Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our video today. If you've never come across one of our videos before, or if you haven't looked at the channel before, what we do here is post earwax removal videos. We post new ones every Tuesday and every Friday. So if you have any questions about the video that you go out to watch, then pop them into the comment section below, and that way then the most popular questions we can answer at the end of the week. So enjoy the video, and I shall see you at the end. Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our UX removal video. Now, this gentleman's come through complaining of reduced hearing, a little bit of soreness and aching into the jaw and neck, uh, which is quite a common side effect of having quite a lot of wax in your ear, so quite a big occlusion. We are just starting off by removing some of the dry skin from the outer part of the ear canal before we tack tackle that uh, earwax blockage. So you can see that dry skin flake coming away there. We're using the standard size Zollner tube. Just scraping that along the surface of the wax here, which is just going to break any looser, more crumbly pieces of wax away. If we try to get a grip on the wax and there are these looser pieces on it, then those will tend to get sucked straight into the machine, so you'll lose the grip quite a bit. So sometimes it's worth removing those first of all. So we're using the Jobson horn now just to go over the top of the wax and you can see these pieces breaking away here. Uh, just to break some of those pieces away, take them away. There we are. If you're not subscribed already guys, uh, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel at Audiology Associates UK and that way then you get a notification every time we post a new video. If you're watching this on Facebook, uh, then you know, obviously pop over to the YouTube channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, then you can also pop over to the Facebook channel. There will be some videos that you haven't seen on YouTube yet. They're popping up on the Facebook channel the next, uh, the next couple of weeks. Here we go. Just start to see it crumbling away now with under the, uh, under the Jobson horn. Little bits just breaking away. Just get a grip on that with the, uh, the Jobson there. There we are. Still using the uh, Jobson horn to remove some of this wax. You can see we're trying to get behind this blockage of ear wax there. Ideally getting behind it and through the wax so it just brings out larger chunks. But as you can see, the ear wax is really crumbly. So as we're trying to pull through it with the Jobson horn, it's just breaking little tiny pieces off. It is coming away, but uh, coming away in little bits. It's always worth, after you've done a few um, passes with the jobs and horn, just going back in and tidying up any looser bits of earwax in there, so little tiny crumbly flaky bits. Uh, they all, will all then get sucked inside the machine. It gives you a better view usually to go back in with the jobs and horn later on. So you can see the center of the wax uh, has pulled away and we have this long strip of earwax on the bottom uh, of the ear canal. So we're gonna need to try and bring that out as well. So back in with the uh, the Jobson now. Just taking this wax away from the edges. There you go, just gently you can see just moving along, pulling the wax down which gives us a gap then to work on in front of that as well. Trying to put a bit of pressure on the bottom of the ear canal. Hopefully getting enough leverage then to pull out the larger chunk. You can see it a little bit just broke away there. There we go, we're just starting to get a little bit of movement to this thicker, harder wax at the base of the canal now. Sometimes you're lucky and the whole thing will, will slide along the canal wall. You can see how tough that is though, just how, how much pressure you have to put on the jobs and horn into that wax. Here we are, starting to move now. You can see it's just edging towards the outer part of the ear canal. Here we are. If you don't follow us on Facebook already, guys, um, pop over to Audiology Associates 1 and drop us a like on the page. If you don't mind, that would be great. There we are. You can see a nice big chunk has come away there. Still more debris in here, though, so still lots of little crumbly bits of earwax. So we're still using the Jobson horn, bringing those forwards again. Good 
little bit just broke away there, taking that out to the bowl of the uh, ear canal. Now we're starting to see the eardrum. So we can see we've got the uh, wax against the right hand canal wall. So we're just going to turn turn the jobs now and work on that area. Always been very mindful that um, too much pressure can can be quite uncomfortable for the patient, so you you don't want to go too crazy, really digging in there with the jobs and all. It can be really tender for the patient. It feels like a, a pinching or scratching sensation. So just using a little bit of suction to tidy up this bit of dead skin here at the base of the canal. I think that's what's holding this last section in. We can see that it's still quite piled up in here on the right side. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. So just peeling that away from that canal wall because it, at the moment it's stuck so tightly against that canal wall, it's really difficult to uh, to get a good grip on it. I'm gonna try with the crocodile forceps here, just on that bit of skin. But you can see it broke away a bit too easily. I was hoping it was going to be a bit a bit thicker and a bit harder, so it may well have pulled a little bit more of that away. So back with the Jobson horn now. There you can see it's starting to come out of the canal. So we've moved the deeper section of uh, of wax further down the canal now, so we can get to that a little bit more easily with the uh, with the Jobson. See a little bit of white dead skin there at the back end of this lump of wax coming away as well, where this has been sitting on top of the skin. There we are. So that was what was stuck to the right hand canal wall there and that little piece there so we'll get rid of that as well. Okay now we can use the uh, the micro section just to clean these last few pieces away. Because this isn't attached to uh, to the canal wall it means it's easy to take away with the uh, with the micro section. Last little flake there at the base of the canal. There we go. Take a good look at that eardrum. So there we are. The eardrum a little bit on the dull side, not such a good light reflex in there. So this is the same patient, but the second ear, you can see very similar looking wax in here. Um, very dry, very crumbly again. Um, oh, not always the easiest to get to get out, but we'll start as we did with the other side with the, uh, the micro suction first of all, just taking a looser, bits of debris away. You can see it's almost like um, layers of wax, like uh, sort of um, flakes of wax rather than rather than one sort of consistent piece. There you go. You can see that's a bit of dry skin there. few more little dry earwax flakes at the base. So we try and lift the wax sometimes just to unstick it from the bottom of the ear canal. Um, that will just help it to slide out a bit more easily in larger pieces. So you're not really getting a tremendous amount of traction there with the uh, with the micro suction, it's just little tiny pieces blocking the end of the suction as well. Got a little gap at the top there, so we're going to go for the jobs and horns through that gap, aiming very gently. Obviously, we don't want to go in too deep, and we're going to try and roll uh, this wax forwards. You can see just how tough that is. You can't really get into it with the uh, the Jobson horn. And as we're rolling, you can see there's more angular pieces at the back of the wax, which are then rising up uh, to the top of the ear canal. There we are. Now we've got a bit of traction to it. So we're just aiming for the, the small holes and gaps we can see to try and get behind the wax to bring it forwards. You can see as we rolled it now that we've got a larger piece flicked up. This is much harder wax at the rear end of this uh, this blockage. See it's much darker in colour as well. There we go. So you can see quite a long sausage shaped piece of wax uh, come out there. So a lot of this came out in one big chunk. 
There we go. There we go, there's the eardrum, so you can see uh, slightly better light reflex on this side. So this is what we removed, we measured it in inches, we had a few people ask if we could do that, it's about four and a half inches of wax there. Thank you very much for watching our video today. If you did enjoy the video, then please like. If you're not subscribed already and you'd like to do so, you can click the subscribe button here. If you'd like to check out some more of our videos, they're also up there. Now, if you want to follow us, you can do on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us. As always, guys, until the next time, take care.